What's up everybody? I'm actually over in a parking lot right now, obviously. I'm over at Winter Haven Airport and I'm gonna do something that I've been wanting to do for quite a while. I got my private pilot license over in June and today we're going spinning. <laughs> All right, everybody, I just got back and I had an absolute blast. What I wanna do is actually share, one, why I went up and actually wanted to go spin an airplane, two, what I actually pulled away that was actually functional and, and my thoughts on it, and then lastly, the cost for it. Because if you have a private certificate and you wanna go do this, then you at least have an idea of what it's gonna cost. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the why. And I've got a couple of reasons for the why. One is it's just a ton of fun. It's a completely different experience from getting into a Skyhawk 172 or a, an Archer or any kind of closed cockpit airplane. You go and do your spin training and high performance endorsement in a PT-17 Stearman. So it's an old biplane, it's an open air airplane, meaning you're not covered. Not only that, but there's not a lot of glass correction. There is no glass instruments in here. It's, it's honestly just using your reference points to fly straight and level, to climb, to turn, to recover from stalls. You're using everything outside. The last piece of my why, which kind of segues into number two, what did I actually pull away, is the fact that a pilot always needs to learn, right? Everybody always needs to get better. Everyone always needs to continue to grow. And aviation is no different. This was actually meant to get yourself more comfortable with spins and stalls. We spend a lot of time actually stalling and not just spinning. And so for those of you that aren't necessarily in aviation or haven't flown before, you can't actually spin unless you stall. So you actually have to understand why you're stalling in the first place and how to recover from it. I learned a lot about rudder usage. I learned a lot about getting out of a spin. And it's a lot different from talking about something and then actually doing it. Because right now in your private certificate, you're not required to actually get out of a legitimate spin. You are only required to know how to get out of a spin. Which segues straight into number two, and that's the actual functionality of it. In your private certificate, you do have to do stalls. You do not have to do a spin. But even with the stall, you still have to understand how to utilize rudder versus aileron. I think it made me a lot more comfortable with the idea of a stall and a spin, and instead of being afraid of them, to be more confident in being able to get out of them and recover from one. So what I really pulled away was uh, essentially really getting more confident in my rudder control, being able to control which way the plane is going and rocking with the rudder in a stall, which was really pronounced in the falling leaf stall. And lastly, if you did get into a spin, how to quickly recover with the rudder. What I pulled away from that was how fast the rudder can actually correct a spin and stop a spin, but also it's not about completely nose downing, but just releasing the back pressure you already have and letting the plane actually stabilize. It was really cool to actually go ahead and get into the spin. The one that really stood out for me was the one where we stalled and then slammed on the rudder, so we actually cross controlled the plane, and then of course the wing immediately dipped over. So those are two big things I took away. A lot more rudder control, a lot more confidence in stalling and recovering from a stall, and then of course really putting into play the acronym we learned in our private, power to idle, neutral ailerons, opposite rudder, and then down elevator. So on to the very last one, and that is how much it actually costs. So I got a really cool mug too because that's what I do, I think it was like $20. Overall training with the high speed and spin endorsements, which are both in my logbook now, cost $498 total. I, I forget what the actual breakdown was for both. So you can actually do one versus the other, get spin or high performance endorsement. Um, for those of you that have already done your private certificate or your instrument and you're already in aviation, you already realize that 498 bucks really isn't that bad in the grand scheme of things when you're renting planes and you're doing your training. I think that 498 especially for, for this was really useful. And I honestly wish I had this when I was in my private. Overall, I think this was a great way to spend a Saturday morning. I think it's a great experience for anybody and really any pilot with any kind of experience. You need to get out and check this out. And I really think that this should probably be emphasized a little earlier on in the training. I'm sitting right about 170 hours now. I, I wish I had this when I was just getting ready for my check ride, so I felt really confident in stalls and, and realizing that they're really not that bad. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed.
enjoyed the video, I will actually go ahead and post the entire Stearman video, the entire flight, up as a separate video so you guys can see it. I already had a couple of clips in here. If you liked the video, go ahead and press like. If you want to subscribe for more content just like this, you know where to press the button. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you soon.